Where's your home hill? If you're lucky enough to live in Boulder, Colorado, it's right up here, high above the tiny mountain town of Nederland at a place called Eldora Mountain. Even if your home hill doesn't top out at 10,000 feet and regularly get pounded by front range storms, it doesn't have to be boring. Take a page from the locals. They make fun their job. And the weird never stops. Heed their words. I'm Cooper Branham. Moved out here for school and ended up doing a lot more snowboarding than school, but I'm still gonna graduate, so that's good. My name is Raul Pinto, co-owner of Satellite Board Shop in Boulder, Colorado. It's cool to see kids out of the front range have a place to ride. I'm Christian Lovenskjold. I'm a Norwegian living here in Boulder. When I first applied to school here, I didn't really care much about what I was going to study, but it's always been about skiing. Whether they're moving here for college or kids that live in the front range, we're going to start to really pump out riders out of the resort. I'm Karina Lusher. I'm a Nederland, Colorado local. I own a business here in town. I'm the executive director at Protect Our Winters. My name's Mario Molina. We got about 18 inches, and so I sent out a POW-wide email saying everyone was expected to be at the first chair. We are the Henderson. And we live in Netherland. Up here, we're God's country. You know, we look out our front living room window, and uh, we can tell if there's powder or snow, and let's go. We won't stop. My first time in Colorado was when I visited to commit to go here, and I was just kind of captured by it all. And here I am, three years later. You're right on the foothills of the mountain, you're right at the, uh, the front of everything in the Rockies, and I've just gotten in routine of like really getting used to going out to Eldora and cruising up for some, some park laps, some good times, pop out of a 11 o'clock class and just grab your stuff and all of a sudden you're just like right at the top of the mountain on the snow, ready to go. Next stop, Eldo. Now that's mass transit a skier can love. Hey boy, what you say boy? You trying to play court like a game boy? Hit my phone boy. Is your home boy? Are you a lone boy? Come give me down boy. Got a boy with the grease, a boy in the streets, a boy on his knees, he a man in the sheets. Sheesh, it's all Greek to me. Got this boy speaking Spanish, I hit my fear. Baby, I don't need you. mentor for everything. He cares about snowboarding a lot, and that's what I noticed right away, is he'll just be like, hey, if you grab here, like, it'll work. And it's just, it's a nice, easy way to improve your riding and also, like, have someone fun to ride with. There was definitely, like, a scene here of skateboarding and snowboarding. It's always been solid. The last few years since 
Eldora's really been able to step up with the park and really try to make it inclusive for everyone. That's allowed a ton of new kids to come to the sport. It's cool to see that youthful energy. That's what snowboarding's always had. It's so fun to ride. It should always have. Now the creativity is coming full circle, whether it's just bank slaloms, the holy bully, just different events, you know, really trying to be creative with stuff. On a sunny day, you can ride till the list close, have a beer at Timbers, and still get back down in time for dinner. It's good, clean living, and Eldo skiers know it. wasn't such cool experiences with my grandmother making me coffee when I would visit her in Switzerland and it just kind of is infused in my body and so I think I found the pot of gold. I get to enjoy the passion of skiing five minutes from where I work and doing the thing that I love to do most, crafting delicious specialty coffee. So I did win the golden ticket in a lot of ways. Because that's really how the the society here is built up around the activities. Grew up in Guatemala, did some work in Australia, Ecuador, Dominican Republic, then came to the U.S. about 10 years ago, and I've been working on climate change ever since. Out of all the places that I've lived, this is where I wanted to make my home. It's absolutely critical for an organization to be in a hub where we can be in touch with the culture and our people. Pretty much anything that takes me out into the mountains, I'm average at all of them, but incredibly passionate at all of them. change being upstanding more upstanding make it to the plateau we never let go and we got that saving grace no more hatred love for the lovers she's my one and only i'm no phony told you before don't mess with my legacy let it be greatness we can't fake this making the statements up to the gateway eldo even has its own olympians barb race in the u.s scott for canada this is right up there with all the places in the world where the sun always shines, we get powder snow. But I think it's not a secret anymore. Oh, darn it. This killer, community-friendly vibe. I don't know that you can find that in a lot of places. <laughs> Everywhere I've gone, every single environment that I love is threatened by climate change. I want to give a shout out to the Powell community and all the people that follow us and are making their voices heard. I came here really loving skateboarding and snowboarding, but I've met a lot of people that are really into rock climbing, mountain biking, you know, any outdoors activities. 
we kind of share this commonality though. A lot of people that come to Colorado, no matter what like your other outdoor sport is. And so being able to ski and snowboard and meet up and then cruise up there and super quickly and add that into the mix is really cool.